Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this one we're going to be showing you how to build a portfolio item within Omeo for WordPress. So as we can see in one of the examples from the demo content, the portfolio is a very attractive looking area where you can display a nice feed of images as well as some blurb and general information about the project. It's all very straightforward to use but what we're going to do is go ahead and create our own little project here and add it to the pile that we've got provided with the demo content here. Okay, so to begin with, we're going to go, want to go to New and Portfolio. And as you can see, the Portfolio editing screen is just like a regular WordPress uh, post screen. It should look very, very similar to uh, anyone that's used one before. And what we're going to want to do to begin with is give it a project title. So I'll call this Dan's Demo Project. Next up, we're going to want to pop in some blurb. Now I'll just grab some random text here and pop that in. This could be obviously some more information about your project or a description, whatever you wish. We're going to want to give it a category. We'll give it, put this under design. And we're going to want to give it a featured image. Now this is the image that appears in the feed that you see here in the different works areas, as well as your portfolio archive. So this is basically the image that is used to represent your project on the rest of your site. So we'll go to Featured Images, browse the media library, and I will give this image here of this chap. I'll leave that one here. Next up, we want to add the gallery images. Now these are the images which are shown in this feed here. So we'll choose a few of these. Got five or six of them there. Now what you can do with these images, you'll notice if we look at this example here, we've got a very wide image there and some squared images below it. You can actually control how all of these images are shown very, very simply. Uh, what I'll do to demonstrate this, I'll publish this and open it in another tab so we can see. So by default, we've got six images and they're all squares. Exactly fine. That's what we're hoping for. Now, if you wanted to say have this double the width, like you see in our example, what you can do is go to the image here, click on its settings, and you'll see here we've got an image size here, which is set to normal. We can change this to be double width. Now, you've got a few other options there. You can double height, double width and height, but for now, we're just going to choose double width. If I update, refresh, you'll see that's now twice the size. Now, let's say we wanted to go a little bit different and actually add, uh, so make one of these ones twice as tall. So we've got here the pinkish picture. We can go to its settings and make that double height. So again, if we update, you'll see that's double the height. So a nice effect we've created there with a lovely grid of images. Very, very simple to use, and you can obviously set up this grid however you wish. Now moving on, you'll see the project info there is empty. That's because we haven't added any. If we go back into the portfolio area, you'll see here, additional item title and detail. Now this essentially works that the title is here and the detail is below. So you can fill this up as you want. We can put client name, Dave the Rave. We can put country, for instance, Brazil. I think you get the picture, but you can essentially just go on and add whatever you want here. And it will appear just as you see here. Dead simple, but very, very effective, as, as you can see. And finally, you'll notice this last area here, which is the portfolio feed width and height. Much like the options you see here, this controls the image's size in the feed. So if you're using the Metro feed where this is applicable, you can see here this first project is currently set to be double the width. We can actually change that up to be double width and height if we want. So let's update that. You can see there that's now 
double width and height. And you can basically build up the grid in a very similar way, just like that as you wish. I hope this has been useful. If you have any more questions, do come see me over at support. Other than that, thanks for watching and enjoy the theme.